Hi, I'm Sal with Moon Valley Nursery and today we're going to discuss how to properly plant a shade tree. Moon Valley Nursery has professionals on staff that can do this for you and it's much easier and much safer if we do it for you, but if you'd like I will show you a few simple steps to do this yourself. What you're going to need to properly plant your tree to start with is a good quality tree from Moon Valley Nursery. The first thing you need to do is choose that tree for your region, your climate, and the space you have available. All of the trees at Moon Valley Nursery are suitable for the climate here in the southwest. Consider how quickly and how large a tree will grow and how much cleanup it will require when it's mature. As you can see, Moon Valley Nursery has a huge selection of trees such as these big popular shade trees and lots of citrus trees and fruit trees as well as very, very many varieties of different palm trees. One of our most favorite dwarf palm trees is the pygmy palm, for example. Understand the growth habits of the tree that you will plant and the shape of the tree it will have when it's mature. Any questions about those regions, the climate, and the space available can be answered by any Moon Valley Nursery employee. The most important step to begin with is selecting the healthy tree. You want to make sure it has good branch structure, it's full and overall attractive and appealing to the eye. Decide where you want to have this tree planted and remember that trees can grow large and you want to make sure you have enough space in the future for the tree when it's mature. You want to consider things such as what the tree will shade, and what it might touch or cover when it's fully grown. Will it be too close to any sidewalks, houses, or power lines? And you also want to choose whether or not the location has any high or low spots, which will considerably change the watering required of the tree. Now that that's out of the way, let's start digging. You need to prepare the hole. You need to take a suitable shovel and a pick and dig the hole. be 10 to 20 percent larger than the overall container that you have for the tree. You want to make sure that you take the container off of the tree safely and slowly so you don't do any damage to the roots on that tree when you're taking it out. Now when you place the tree in the ground you want to make sure that you put it in at ground level so that the, the root ball, the top of the root ball, is at the same level as the ground and you want to backfill the hole in around it with a 50-50 soil and mulch mixture. Once you've packed that in nice and tight, you need to leave a tree well around the tree. That's usually left with your native soil, and that tree well is going to help provide water and additional soil for the tree as the tree grows. Now make sure that when you plant this tree, you're using Moon Valley mulch and moon juice as it is essential to the new growth of your tree. Once you have the new tree planted, you want to make sure you thoroughly water your new tree. Watering will not only encourage the new tree to grow properly for you, but it will also help with transplant shock, which can occur with any time of year when you plant a new tree. You've just planted your new tree. If you have any questions in regard to how to stake that new tree, if needed, please visit us at moonvalleynursery.com or watch our videos on how to stake a tree. Thank you for joining us on how to plant your shade tree. You can visit us at any one of our Moon Valley Nursery locations or online at moonvalleynurseries.com. But I do recommend you let the employees here at Moon Valley Nurseries do that for you as it is much safer much easier and you can sit home and relax in your lawn chair and watch us do all the hard work for you.